And I'm live. Hey guys and gals and everyone. Welcome to Monday Night Live. Everybody hear me okay? Just want to make sure that we have sound. All right. Yay. <laughs> Still haven't got my Yeti working yet. Keep forgetting to have the uh, techno guy take care of that. So these are last week's paintings. I have three of them here. This was our kiss cup, split kiss cup that Brian has in his Etsy shop. This is what we got with that. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot. And then I did a flip and drag with chestnut bronze. I think that was Shelly's Masquerade and white. Pretty pretty. And then we used um, Finnegan Shark Gray. I like the way it dried with the purple. So it does give it more of a lavender hue. That was pretty cool too. But tonight, dun dun dun. Brian kind of got my spark going here to play with these. I have a bunch. I have like four taped off. Don't know if we'll do four. But I thought we'd bloom on these tonight and spin them. But before I do that, I want to show you something really cool. So I got the new mats from Fluid Arco. Thank you, Billy, Shelly, everybody. They now have grid lines. Of course, I got one gigantic one. <laughs> for my future homemade spinner. But this is the 12 inch, this is the 24 inch. If you go that big, it's good to have so you can line up your canvas, especially if you're doing rounds, right? But this is the 12 inch. Should fit right on top of your spinner. So these are available at Fluid Art Co. Fluid Art dot co. So it sticks really good to that plastic shower cap. But I like it because you have your lines there. So you're doing small ones. Even if you're doing squares, you still have your lines to um, use as guides. We're going to use our tub so I don't make a mess. I have to get me where I'm comfy. I do need to take this hoodie off. Don't want to get paint on it. So I'll be using a black cell activator because that's what I have mixed up. Um, gotta get my spoons out. I just thought we'd have a little fun today. I'm not worried about the edges on those rounds because I'm probably gonna paint them gold or silver. Yeah, that's good. All right. 
So I did tape them off. These are from Hobby Lobby. I always buy their wood stuff when it's on sale. So you have your grid line there to match it up. So get my, if I get my mat on there right, right? So that's, that's the one thing, it's getting your mat centered. Larry wants to know where I am. I'm lurking, Larry. He's here. He's quiet. We worked our butts off this weekend. <laughs> We're tired. <laughs> but we have a new floor. <laughs> but this will definitely hold that. That's not going anywhere. Hello, okay. everyone. You can talk, babe. I'm going to stir some paint. I've got... All these jugs of house paint sitting here. I want to use them up. And you'll probably hear puppies barking in the background because they're being little stinkers. Like usual. Their whole weekend was total chaos. They had to hang out here and they didn't like it. They wanted to be in the house with their stuff. and hello to everyone coming in. Your charging cord? It doesn't matter. I was just watching that to see if it came up. <clears throat> I'm going to pick out some colors real quick. Chat amongst yourselves. Yes, Sue, I was happy to go to work today. <laughs> Not as happy as I was for you to go to work today. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, guys. I love my husband. Yesterday was our anniversary. So, I don't know if you guys follow Alan on Facebook, but he had posted this thing about the flowers and she wanted something from Hobby Lobby was it? Yep. So he brings out my order from Hobby Lobby and says happy anniversary and I'm like oh did you get me something from Hobby Lobby? I totally forgot I ordered anything. <laughs> I was all excited. <laughs> and it was just stuff that I ordered. It was pretty funny. Thank you everyone. Okay. Roxanne wants to know, how was your dinner? My dinner was delicious. Alan does a good steak on the grill. I will give him that. Alright, so I picked out Grenache. I'll do some Harvest Gold. Colleen, 23 years. But who's counting? I forgot. <laughs> We've been married twice. We did. We renewed our vows on our 15th. So we'll probably do it again on our 25th if I want to marry him again. <laughs> well, if she doesn't, uh, you know, we'll be in Hawaii or one of us will be in Hawaii. <laughs> did you say Hawaii? Hawaii. Hawaii. Well, happy anniversary early, Lori. She said hers is tomorrow, 42 years. Wow. Colleen said 39 for her on September 15th. Awesome. All right, I think I'm going to do ne Nebula. Alan, I've got to move this. I'm going to fall. It's too slippery. Save it because it's still usable. Mm -hmm. So I should put my colors up here so you can see what I got going here. I'm trying to get these down because some of them I have two of. 
so Beth Benson said 54 years for her and her husband. That's wonderful. Julia's 44 for her next month. Kathy Mack was 48 last week. Wow. Maxine, 45. Joy E wants to know, 25 years divorce for her, does that count? <laughs> sure does. <laughs> I'll give you that. <laughs> All right. I think we'll throw a shimmer in there. I was going to get my recipes out, and I thought, you know what? I'm just going to use what I have on my wall. Just pick something out. We need to start using up these that are mixed and not mix any fresh ones. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever get through them all. But we're going to be doing Christmas ornaments here pretty soon, so we'll use them up. Sarah Clark says she thought at first you we were going to say we got married, divorced, and remarried. No. And you said twice. <laughs> All right, so we have TLPs, Grenache, Harvest Gold. This one is Nebula, and this one is Shimmer. So those are that's our color palette for this one. I'll be using my Revlon blower. And I think this is color place because it seems kind of thick, but it's okay. We're going on wood, so just want to be careful I don't get any goobers in there. And Jean Larry 38. Wonderful. Okay, I'm going to spread that over my edge. I don't want a dry line. I know I looked at the picture with the boys. That was funny. My oldest is 40. He'll be 41 this year. And my youngest is going to be 32 next month. So it was pretty funny. They were just little... cracks me up. Alright, so I think I'm just going to do a regular bloom. I'm not going to do the line where I blow both sides. At least not on the first one. So I think I'm going to start with Grenache. Because I don't want a lot of this. If I put it on the bottom, it's less apt to take over. And I, do, I am kind of shaky today, guys. Just letting you know. It's from sawing shoe moldy. <laughs> and then I'm going to do the Harvest Gold because this is also another color that shows up very well. I want to do a little more though. I'm going to put a little more Grenache on there too. do my nebula. This color is very similar to the Asia right from color art that I like. So I'm glad I have a TLP to take its place. And this shimmer is just a gold interference. I felt bloomy today. This is Carbon Black from Golden. This is my cell activator. Grab my dryer. And we're going to push out. It's going to get loud.
going to give my cell activator just a little bit more Aussie because it's been sitting for a bit, but it is working. Just want a little bit more. Shelly says she either lost sound or froze. Kathleen Clear says buffering. Frozen. Back. Am I back? <laughs> Are we back? We're back. So it's back now. Okay, that's good. I didn't do anything while you were gone. <laughs> See if I have anything else that wants to come up and play before I spin her up. Ryan says blurry. That I can't control. We sure are spoiled with technology, and then when it goes crappy, we get upset. bringing these together just a little bit. They'll probably spin off, but I just need something there. Just in case. Because there's a lot of paint on here. So I don't want this to be a flower or anything, so it's just going to be a regular bloom. Alright, let's whip it. I could spin it one more. See if I can get the edge off of there. There we go. Just want to get those sides covered. Not that it matters, because I'm probably going to do something else with them. It's a weird color combo, isn't it? Because it's like I pulled green with the shimmer. But it's pretty. Let me lift it up and I'll tilt it towards you. Uh, I got a cup for my dirty spoons. So I'm glad that the uh, gold and the Grenache played very well here without taking over. I'm going to give it just a light torch. I see a couple bubbles. I think that's it. Laura Swain says, that's so interesting. It's so different than what I thought it would happen. Yeah, when you blow it out like a flower, well, blooming it out, it gives you a whole different look than when you do a line and blow both sides out, kind of like blown swipes. Let me see if I can get the tilt on it. I have the green here. I do like all that action in the middle and not all over the place. So it makes it minimalist. Alright, this one's going over to dry. Look at that, you're all set up for it too. And I set it all up. But Brian was bothering me. 
Don't leave me alone. I'm trying to set up. Julia says, I'm in love with this piece. Thank and you. Kara says, that is stunning. Love the shadow parts. Thank you, guys. Get my paint scraper here and just get my edge off. Easy cleanup. So when I'm done tonight, I'll leave this on here and just peel the paint off. <clears throat> All right. Here's another one. And Brian says, you're covering those lines. <laughs> I am. Like I said, they're better for a smaller canvas. Can you put hot water in there? From the jug? Okay. Let's play with some color. Let's do some Lagoon. And some Emerald. Um, do sequins. different color palettes because I want some different recipes. <laughs> like I need more. Alright, so I'm going to throw a color art pigment in there. Sea Goddess. I have a ton of color art that I want to use. So these have been sitting, guys, you know how long I've had this pigment wall. They're still good. As long as they're sealed tight and out of direct sunlight, keep your studio the same temperature, you won't get the condensation issues, you can still use them. Some of these might be a year old, who knows. Everybody says you're off center a little. I'll get you in a second. hard with the OBS because I have one screen there and one screen there. This lagoon is really pretty. So like I said, I always scrape your bottom. I love these flat spoons because you can scrape and stir at the same time. Get all that mica off the bottom. If your pigments are too thick, just give them a squirt of polycrylic or Josanya. And I have the Joa. I'll give it just a little bit of that to make it the same consistency of the other one. And Joe has three parts Josanya varnish, one part water. Sequins. This is a very fun interference color. It goes with everything. It just pulls all different kinds of colors. It's almost like the firefly that I love from Color Art, but I think this is my new fave. This and Velvet. And Twinkle. I like Twinkle too. <laughs> Once again, hello to Joyce. Glad you could join us. Hi, Joyce. Sarah says she loves her spoons in the Laguna. I got during your sale. That color is wow. Yeah. All right, this one's a little bit thick. This is emerald from TLP. It's a beautiful color. You'll see me use more of this on Saturday. So we have our collaboration coming up Saturday. I start out at 6 p.m. right here on my channel. 
I kind of uh, surprised my collab group with a little item to play with. We set some rules and I can't wait to see what everybody made. <laughs> but yeah, they're probably cursing my name right now. It's a little tough one, but it was fun. Okay, let me grab some more paint because I think I might run out of that one. Let's see what this one is. I love using stuff up. Alright, this one must be PPG. It's a little thinner than the color place. Oh geez, that's really thin. Yeah, I can't use that one. It's too thin. It may not be house paint. <laughs> it might be pouring paint. It smells like house paint though. Alright, we have four. Let's try another one. This one's house paint. <laughs> All right. Let's get some paint down on this round. Oh, I saw a goober. No goobers. So I'm leaving my pillow nice and heavy in the middle. I don't see the goober. Maybe I'll see it when we spin it, which is kind of the wrong time to see it. A little blurry. Okay. Let's see if it works. Alright, let's start with Laguna. That's it, still off center. Which way do you want me to go? Left? Uh, you're left. So if I put both my arms up here, I'm centered. So I don't know how much more centering I can do. It's the can camera angle, right? Could be. I go, if I start adjusting the camera, then we get the light blurring. I haven't mounted my lights yet. All right, let's do some sea goddess. I think they're saying move it just a little this way. Oh. Is that what they meant? Yeah. It's the overflap of the thing that's throwing them off. Okay, emerald. <laughs> right. You would think with those lines it would be centered. I don't have the mat on centered, Brian. <laughs> I just threw it on there. I didn't get all technical. <laughs> Right, said maybe the mat is off center. It is. That says that's better. Yeah, but now when I spin it, it'll probably be off. But that's okay. I don't mind that either. We can compensate. All right, let's get our black cell activator down. I'm gonna do just a little bit more. So we're going over green. Well, Mr. Camera, where are you? Here you are. I leave my hand there until I get my blow dryer up there. <laughs> shelf. I was like, where's my blow dryer? <laughs> okay, here we go. Noise.
what you want to be careful of. I shouldn't have done that. What did you do? I pulled the uh, cell activator out and I got I grabbed white. That's when I am pulling a few in. You have to wipe your stick after every one of these too. Or you'll pull too much white in. Alright, so let's play. Just giving it something. Because it, it'll spin off, but it may leave behind something cool. Your color palette. That is a pretty color palette. That sequence definitely pulled purple. That's a funky looking cell, isn't it? Oh, just so everybody knows, Christy, Bonnie, Mary Ellen, Kathy Carr, everybody's packages went out today. I was very behind, wasn't I? <clears throat> I had an order from Etsy and I couldn't get in my mixing room. I had to crawl over the island, the kitchen island, to get in there to pull four jars of paint. <laughs> it was awful. <laughs> so once we get everything back where it belongs, it will be much easier. House is in shambles. <laughs> I gotta spin this one more time because I still think I have too much paint in the middle. I hate to though, it looks cute. Yeah, there's just a little tad too much. One more spin. Good night, Sarah. Good night, Thank Sarah. You. Thank you for joining us. Look how that pearl pulled the purple and the pinky colors. That's cool. All right, let me torch this. Um, I got some from Etsy, but you can get them on Amazon. wait and see if that bubble is going to pop, but I don't think so. I may have to help that one. Oh, I got it. Kathy Carr is saying you should not have sent that to her. She won, she won it. She says, as I did not win it for real. Well, in my eyes, you won it. And then Christy opened my eyes to show me she won it. Doesn't matter. It's on its way. <laughs> Like saying, oh, congratulations. Oh, never mind. <laughs> you won the Mega Millions. Yes, you had one ball, but you won. <laughs> this one's pretty. I like it. What do you think, guys? Now, there are already a couple of them calling mine. Vic Vicky and Shelly. And... Lori says, this is beautiful. Laura Swain says, really pretty. Angie says, it's beautiful and she loves it. Yay. Kathy loves it. All my sides are covered too on this one. Joey says, gorgeous. Let's see if I can get to the wrap without dripping. I doubt it. I 
Yeah, I won't be making clocks out of these. I don't want, I got enough clocks. And they're one inch thick, so they're too thick for clocks. It's hard to find a clock movement that will work that deep. <clears throat> Kathleen Shelley just posted a link for the reclosable plastic bags. Yeah, but she's in Canada. She can't get the U.S. stuff. She'll have to search it on the Canadian side. If you can't find them by May, Catherine, let me know. <laughs> I'll bring you some. Alright. Number three. Get this all closed up. What do I got here? I look at colors and it's like, hmm. Only Vicky. Okay, let's go. So we did blue, we did green, and we did kind of blue maroony. Let's go purple. So let's see what color this is mixed up. Scrape this off real quick so I can put another wood up there. Okay. These are super simple to tape off, too. If you have a cutting mat, just tape them off, set it down on your cutting mat, and go around with your X Acto knife. See, to me, that's off. So. Yeah. I should have played with the mat better, huh? Before I put it on here. I always measure with my fingers. Alright, so we're going to go... This one. It's a purpley mauve. This is, God, I know I'm going to say it wrong. Syrah. S Y R A H. I don't think it's Syrah. <laughs> Gosh, let's learn how to pronounce them. No, what was that that you just added? Uh, this is a Joa. Just to thin it a little bit. The nice thing with these tubs, you can let your paint dry inside them and it peels out one sheet. Just takes a few days. Okay, so with that. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh -uh. Let's see. Let's see if this art alchemy color will. Oh, it's hard. That's not good. I got another one. I got another one. This one's called red wine. But I think it would be, oh, that's too red. That's not going to work. Too red. Look purpley. All right, Iris Potion. Gosh, these are thick. These I have definitely not been using. They're just sitting there. 
same thing, Joa. Doesn't matter if you're using pigments or if you're using tube paints or whatever, but to thin, you want to use something. These are um, in the sparkle line, so they have a really pretty metallic finish to them. Sparkly, like a opalescence type. And these are from Art Alchemy. They're little jars of paint that I buy from Joggles. Joggles is one of my favorite places to shop for alcohol ink and Art Alchemy paints. Okay. I have so many purples. <laughs> oh. Let's throw. This is pink orchid. I need something bright. Suggested a little earlier gold. Well, we have this here, this flashy. I like to use an interference or a gold, but on this one, I'm going to use the velvet interference from TLP because it pulls a beautiful purple, blue purple. Doesn't look pretty, but it will be. I promise. Just how you lay them. And this is velvet. SJ, you need to come over and bloom over here. You slip some of these paints. <laughs> Have our blooming crowd. Okay. All right, I think we're good. So she's on her way. Good. I'll get the vodka. <laughs> and I'll go tell Vicky to get her butt up here. Okay, some white. I saw that one too. Maybe it's just a bubble. Use the bigger stick. So Alan was up till 2 a.m. getting our new washer and dryer in. So he's pretty tired. Poor guy. Wouldn't be so bad if he would have gotten to take today off, but he's tired. So we'll be going to bed early tonight. Okay, let's start with Syra, Syra. <laughs> no one's corrected me yet. <laughs> Maybe they don't know how to pronounce it either. Okay. And then we'll go. Ooh. I do want to put the bright one there. And this is the Color Art Pink Orchid. Because it does have a purple hue to it. Say hello to Tammy Owen. Glad you join us. And then the Art Alchemy Iris Potion. A little bit more of that because that's going to be very sparkly 
And then we'll go with our velvet, which is going to pull blue-purple. I think this is the color that I've bought the most of from TLP. I think I have like, I went through three jars already. <laughs> okay. Let's get some Selectivator on. And we'll blow. Alright, it's going to get loud, guys. Second syllable, it's a variety of wine. Syrah. Syrah. That's right. I know I now I remember. <laughs> Syrah. Brian wants to know is there a checklist for all your PP paints in the group files? Uh no. We have not updated that, Brian. If you need one, I can email you one. I have the file. I thought I sent him one. Did I not send you one with the last batch of paint? I know, I think I've sent Darnell one. Shelly's got one. He says, yes, yeah, send me one. Okay. I'll email it to you. And they're in alphabetical order now, so, except for the new ones, the new colors. But I've been sending them out with the Etsy orders. Because people buy paint and they don't remember which ones they get when they get in their shop, so. She's got one. Yep. I thought I sent her one. Okay. Ryan did some awesome paintings last night. If you guys missed his live, go check it out. The three pretty cool ones. And then, if Mona's not feeling well enough on Thursday to put a premiere up, I believe Shelly's going to take that spot. I love the center on this one. It's gorgeous. All right, let's spin. I think we're ready. I even got cells coming up through. It's kind of neat. I love when the paint goes flying. <laughs> That's why I love when Brian whips his painting. It's like, ooh, look at that paint go flying. Mm. I'm going to do one more because I want to see if I can get those dots off. Don't let it spin all the way out either. I like to stop it. And they're gone. That's good. Didn't cover my edges all the way though. Mm. Definitely will have to paint the sides on this one. too hard to match them up. I love that trail of cells like that. Especially here where you have that little bit of wandering off. Pretty. I'm not fond of that spot. There's nothing I can do about it. I 
Huh. Hey, I, I would pour over it. <laughs> Let's see how many people say no. The center is gorgeous. I that's what's stopping me. Get a circular saw and make it a six inch instead of a twelve inch. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Cookie cutter. Well, Mary Ellen, Hi, Mary Ellen. Join us. Laureen Nye says she loves that one, Christina. It's magnificent. Shelly says keep it. Yeah, I, th I think I'll keep it. Because there's, I might be able to do something with it. And then we never know what it's going to dry like either. Blooms are so deceiving. <laughs> you put them to bed and the next day they look totally different. I'm just hoping cells don't get wonky. And I have these on super, super short stands so they don't warp. Kathy Max says she's embarrassed to admit it. But she's never done a bloom. They're so fun. They're very addicting. That's the problem. I could bloom every day, all day, and not do anything else. So I, I don't want to overwhelm my viewers with blooms because I'm not a bloom channel. I would love to be a bloom channel. But, you know, people come here to learn how to do acrylic pouring. I'm um, learning some new techniques. They get to see Brian's new toys, how other people use them. So, I only bloom once in a while. But I'm going to be blooming a lot doing the ornaments um, for Christmas because we have, I have a drawer full right now that need to be taped off. And I'm looking for some to paint. They don't have them yet. They have the sublimation ones that I could use. But they're like a dollar thirty a piece. I think I can get a better deal. So I'm holding out. So Roxanne wants to know how thick is that wood round you're using? They're about an inch thick. So the thing is when you get a board like that, when you go to dry it, don't put a cup in the middle. So I have little cups going around to hold all the different areas of the board. So if it's gonna warp, it's either gonna heave in the middle. But once it does that and my sides are dry, I will lay it flat and it should concave on its own as it continues to dry. I haven't had any that stayed warped. So tomorrow I'll be back at doing shoe molding, but we got to have a talk with Finn. He needs to quit stealing my pencil and my sandpaper. A little stinker. Anything else you can get his little. I couldn't get much done today because every time I turn around, it's like, give me my pencil. He's running. <laughs> Mine. I'm gonna mix these two together. I should have enough for another painting. See now with these jugs, with the house paint, I just leave them like this and let them dry and it all peels right out. So they're probably the same brand, those two, because they're just the right consistency. All right, I've got to pick some colors. Yes, Brian, concave. I learned that in beauty school. Perm rods. <laughs> Kathy Mack wants to know, which house paint do you recommend? I'm really liking the PPG eggshell. Um, it's not over here for me to show you, though. It's at Home Depot. <clears throat> Sue Jansen says, my Dollar Plus store doesn't have those jugs. Oh. Um, they get them in once in a while. Can you order them online? I don't think so. Alright, so we did green, we did 
purple. Guess we should do something blue. Blue, blue, blue. Green, Bri. Where were you? Silly. Silly so says, what about sapphire? I got sapphire. <laughs> you read in my mind, girl. I should have used that one before. Alright, what do we got here? Victoria's on a yellow kick. That's about the third time. I only have suggested. one yellow from TLP and it's lemon sorbet. Brian said he didn't see any green. Well, I'm sorry, Brian. You'll have to go back and watch. <laughs> he said, I guess I should shut up and watch. Quit killing zombies. <laughs> All right, let's grab our, okay, let's see how it is first. Okay, so this is our Parash Posse Sleeping Beauty. So we'll use that. Beautiful turquoise. One of my favorites. Not a big seller anymore. It used to be. But I think the beach retreat took over. Because it's sparklier. Is that a word? Sparklier? It is now. Alright. Sapphire from TLP. Look at that. We never used it. Let me get it mixed up here. It's a beautiful blue. See how I just let them set for eight months and months and months and they're fine. It's getting a good seal and keeping them where they're not exposed to heat and cold. That's gorgeous color. Okay. Alright, so now I think I may need a blue-green to tie those two. I think indigo is going to be too... Uh, well, maybe it'll be okay. It's gold. More gold. It's kind of a greeny, goldy blue. Need some joa. Gosh, we're on our fourth one, guys. We're painting fast. Speedy. I was going to pick up my color palettes before I went live, and I thought, oh my goodness, I'll be done in a half an hour. <laughs> and sometimes I get so too in, indecisive. In, indecisive? Thank you. stand there and have three in my hands and then I'll put two back and then grab three more and it's and then I'm like forget it go get a recipe <laughs> okay this is king of pain it may be too dark I'm not fond of this one our moody blue is more fun see Jax is telling Shelly you go with Dee Dee next year Go with Dee Dee where? As the personal shopper. Oh. <laughs> well, didn't we give that job to Catherine? <laughs> Catherine and Dee Dee get along really well. Okay. 
Let's try it. We'll see what happens. Okay. Yeah, a little stir. Get ourselves a hearty pillow on there. Okay. Of course I did, because it's just white. Let me get a color down first before I adjust. So I'm going to put the King of Pain down first. So Roxanne wants to know, have you ever used a colored house paint for blooms? I have. Um, I used the blue that we painted our living room with. I've used black. I have a whole bin of bare samples that I want to use up. So I probably will be using those um, on ornaments and on boxes just to use them up because they're just sitting here. I'll probably have to stir them and strain every one of them because they've been sitting for so long. But if you go back and watch some of my videos from like 2018, I was using those house paints. And uh, <laughs> that was the last time I used them. They should be good, though. Some of them I haven't even opened. Okay. So this one's going to get five colors because I want to use these four blues. Alright. So now I need Twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle. So Jeff says Dee Dee is a hoot. Vicky loves her Dee Dee. Catherine says Dee Dee is a barrel of fun. She is. She's a riot. It's so funny because when people start misbehaving, the nanny and Dee Dee comes out. And she starts pointing. <laughs> I love that side of Dee Dee. She probably was a really fun mom. Okay. dryer. Here we go. something here. Alright, let's play with the middle. What do you have for me in there? Oh. 
I like the last one. Hello, Monica. Glad you could join us. Hi, Monica. Let me torch it. I'll get those bubbles while we're waiting for it. Normally I don't torch house paint, but if you stay far enough away and go fast, it should be okay. You get a skim on there, it's not going to go anywhere. Alright, let me skewer a little bit. Because I'm still waiting. <laughs> Ryan says, whip it! That's the plan, Stan. I'm so excited for Saturday. Someone's I hope we got a grooming appointment this Saturday. Yeah, we got yeah, the dogs go to the new groomer Saturday too. I'm just gonna tell her, listen, I gotta be out of here by five. <laughs> Lady. Alright, let's see if we open it up if it'll change a little bit. It's starting to. I love when the paint goes flying. Mm. I definitely have to spin it again because I don't have enough paint on my sides at all. I want to come this way a little bit. Mm. Centrifugal force. And you better not come off of the spinner. Because you've got nowhere to go. Finnegan. Finnegan will be eight months old next month, right? Yeah, next month he'll be eight months old. He'll be eight months old when Ellie goes into heat. And that's, the vet said anything after six. He's probably what, about 10 pounds, 11 pounds now? Yeah, he's about 11 pounds. He's just about as big as Ellie, but he doesn't weigh as much as Ellie. Ellie's a chunk butt. She's thick. <laughs> she's thick. And she's brutal. Like, she pounces at him, like comes walking up on him, like, uh, like charging. Cracks me up. So I know she's going to do that when she's in heat because she's dominate, trying to dominate him. But he gets her too. He goes after her too. Okay. One thing I learned doing one inch thick rounds. Maybe when you put your white on. Get your sides too, so the paint can glide down easier. So I'm right at the edge, and I don't want to spin it again because those cells are pretty big. Hello, Nate. When did you sneak in here? Hey, Nate. Mary, Lindsay. Nothing wrong with us thick girls. <laughs> got junk in her trunk. Miss Ellie does. This is kind of weird here how it flipped. Can you see it in the camera, Ellen? Where I'm pointing. Yeah. I might have to skewer that. I kind of see an octopus in this. I'm going to skewer that out like that because I don't like that gob. So 
so that came out pretty cool. The King of Pain definitely is the undertone, the purpley blue undertone, because it is a Payne's Gray. Sleeping Beauty Turquoise did Magnificent. I, uh, the Twinkle is our purpley blue interference. I look like I lost my sapphire. And there might be just a tad of the indigo waves showing up around the cells. But let me give you a, I'll lift it up so you can see it closer. The only thing I don't like about wood too is the, sometimes the wood grain shows in your paintings. Even after you resin it, it's still there. The only way you can get around that is to prime it, sand it, prime it again. But it's not going to stop it from warping. Because I've prepped boards before where I put three or four coats on and they still warp. But like I said, if you leave them flat after the edges are dry, they usually fix themselves. It's interesting. Top to the rack. So, that's it for the bloomies tonight. Do you need your headboard to look like that, Nate? <laughs> it would be pretty. Any questions, guys? So, I'll be back here on Thursday. And Shelly will probably be following me if Mona is not better. I don't think she'll have the energy to film. She's just starting to feel a smidge better. And Saturday is our collab. And then Sunday, we go over to Crunch Berry's Playhouse instead of Brian. Angie and Larry will be doing their live at 8 p.m. Eastern. So, prizes went out from last week. I didn't do a giveaway tonight because we need to. I can't get in my mixing room anyways to pull any paint. But um, I'll make up for it next week. And uh, you got anything you need to add, Alan? No. No. Nope. So we'll see you on Thursday for Tutorial Thursday. And if you can't make it for that, we'll see you Saturday for our collaboration. It's going to be a fun time. Don't miss it. It's going to be fun. I'm so anxious to see everybody's stuff. All right, guys. Take care. Have a wonderful evening. Bye now. <laughs>